guys hello and welcome to the labyrinth tv network today is august 12th and today is monday 2024 today is also a war a international youth day i so this day has been celebrated worldwide across every nation and every sector uh, of the country so i want to say welcome to this channel you can like comment and share i'm princess katie Cooper coming to you live so there were a lot of things that happening uh during the course of the week and we just started wise to see how best we can bring you some breaking news uh, about these things that happened so you can actually get an insight of what is actually unfolding in liberia so at this hour we are right here on front street and this is how this uh, place definitely looked like we want to say welcome to this channel so in today's breaking news uh, just to inform me, of recent there was the Hulu Balu at the Liberian Drugs Enforcement Agency that led to the immediate suspension of Colonel Abi Kroman, who served as the director, Fadiga, who is the, the deputy director for operation and the deputy director for administration. So these three guys were immediately suspended uh, because they, they actually had this internal wrangling. So the president immediately suspended them. But then uh, this issue happened first wherein they had this internal wrangling and in fact it led to uh, and one person trying to take a firearm to shoot another person but later on the matter was seized and after some couple of weeks the same you know incident occurred at the same uh, spot so the president immediately seized that situation by suspending them so just to let you know the news and newspaper this can be found in the news and newspaper the uh, verita online newspaper and other media platform and media uh, papers around here that Colonel Abi Kuma after the investigation uh, has been set free uh, according to the findings that came Colonel Abi Kuma is not wrong uh, he's not wrong in fact Colonel Abi Kuma has absolute uh, authority over the LDA agency as director uh, also according to the report it says that there are certain you know right and privilege that is given to the director cannot be given to the subordinate as well so uh, as a stand, the, according to information, they are now awaiting the president, you know, a uh, directive to see how bad the suspension can be left. But beyond that, uh, when the president had his cabinet meeting, this information came in where in uh, the, 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 the information minister said, according to the president, that the president, uh, every agency and ministry should actually, you know, be respected by their various heads. So I think that implies with the president directive. So now wait and see what will be the action of the two deputies if the president will file them or they will be suspended. We don't know because of recent the deputy minister for administration and minister of I uh, at the ministry of education was I uh, dismissed due to administrative reason. We don't know if this will happen as well. And also to let you know, President Borka has commissioned two deputy uh, defense minister one is dr augustin t lamy and for administration and the other one is honorable spencer liko uh, for operation so these are individuals being you know commissioned by the president of the republic of liberia so it means that they're going to start their work immediately and also during the course of the week uh, the ombudsman office will also you know commissioned by the president so that means the ombudsman will actually you know carry on his duty as we speak uh, the ombudsman said that he will ensure that all of the government vehicles or cars be, uh, we've definitely uh, fly the street of Morovia or Liberia with a flag to ensure that corruption or other or the vehicles should not actually be misused. So these are just things happening in and around uh, Liberia. So if we are following all this morning, I'm Princess K. Dikopo coming to you live. Keep following Liberia TV Network as we bring the love chorus. Also, to let you know, President Barker has finally received the LACC report on asset declaration. So there, are, there have been some government officials who up to date have been actually declared an asset. And the president is really, really, really encouraging all government officials to declare the asset. So according to the report that came from the LACC, which is the Liberal Anti-Corruption, uh, uh, corruption, the Liberal anti uh, anti corruption Commissioner, so they said that Many of the government officials, they haven't yet, you know, declared that they are their asset. So he is asking. But then, that would and see what would be the action from the president because the time limit were given to individuals or government appointees that were appointed uh, in a very, you know, long period of time. Immediately the president came, the president came to power. But up to date, they decided not to adhere to the president's call. 
we don't know if the president is going to take administrative action or just going to leave it fly in, in, in a thin air. But then people, many uh, citizens and also critics advocate are saying that the president should dismiss or take a severe administrative action on those who haven't yet actually, you know, declared their assets. And also see the CB Dumont Hospital in Bonk County, uh, according to information from OKFM, says that this uh, government hospital is actually not uh, operating. Their operation is ineffective due to fundings. Their operation is ineffective because they don't have logistics and a lot more. So these are some challenges that the that that the uh, hospital or the health sector is actually you know uh, facing with in Liberia. So they are calling on the government and other you know international donors to see how best they can immediately uh, actually get in. And also, the, there's a report on social media and other uh, media outlets like OKFM, I uh, news and newspaper. You also have the front page Africa, the Verita online newspaper, and many other platforms that the Liberal Water and Sewer Corporation they are they disconnected over 3,000 delinquent customers from its supply line. According to the director, he said he said that many of uh, those who have been definitely connected to the line they are not actually complying so it is actually giving the institution some difficulties in, in uh, carry on their function or their work so he is actually calling on community dwellers to actually ensure that things are done properly when they came to power phrase they were able to actually you know provide free service uh, free service for all of the you know communities that they have the library water and sewer cooperation wherein they provided these services for like three months but now they're trying to see how best they can actually you know step forward but people are not actually you know uh, in a call with the library water and sewer cooperation and also during this weekend uh, the direct the chairman for ch the uh, chairman Momolu John Dukley, uh, chairman for the Liberal, let me say the the Liberal Petroleum Refining Company. Uh, this gone weekend, they presented a bus. Uh, I think that bus is about twelve seated bus. Uh, I told the. LP RC director on number in Mosway. And you know, since the presentation was made, it has you know actually raised series of you know critics, series of tension, series of concern among citizens. According to the director, I that the information the, that the 12 seater bus was purchased at the one hundred sixty three thousand dollars And many citizens are raising concerns say no, the bus is you know the bus doesn't worth sale price. In fact, there were a lot of things uh, done behind the scene. The the, 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 the director is not actually want to be transparent, he don't want to be clear, and there should be some check and meet. And no, so we are trying to see how else we can get the actual you know, story from that end. Keep posted, we'll definitely let you know exactly as to what will be the next move. So we've been telling you that uh, Chief Actor Doma is now the new chief of Liberia from uh, last week. So officially, this gone time, there was an election here in Ganta, and the chief, uh, chief actor Doma actually won the election. He was inducted into office this gone weekend on Saturday, where in the pres president commissioned that, and also the president had provided his office with logistics, including cars and other things, to actually be effective. So it means that the tenure or the administration of Honorable Zanza Kawa has come to an end. And also, suspended CBL governor case uh, has gone be uh, before the case of the Supreme Court. So that tells you that the case is really deep and there are a lot of things happening. So as we speak now, the case is now in front of the uh, Supreme Court of Liberia. According to the lawyers uh, that was actually representing the CBL governor, the suspended CBL governor, Honorable Alasha Stalo, this, this said that the suspension is illegal and the president should reinstate him back. But don't watch that and see. But people have also been saying that the president had the administrative will, the administrative power to suspend the CBL governor. That's why it is a turning position. But Lord watch and see what will happen, uh, you know, at times to come. So away from home, Malay has ordered the Sudan ambassador to leave uh, to leave their country with immediate effect. What led to that was, uh, one of the ministers in Sudan came out with this uh, express statement that they're going to, you know, cut down all of their activities, in especially aid from Mali. So that actually prompted the Mali military, you know, uh, government to actually uh, tell the ambassador to leave within 72 hours. But now watch and see what will happen and what will be the outcome from that. So these are just breaking news we have for you today. Keep following Liberal TV Network. I'm Francis K. Dikopo coming to you live. Thanks for following this platform.